Mickey on Radio Without Rules. It's 92.9 The Point. You're tuned in to The Breakfast Club, and we have our good friends that we haven't had on the show here for a little while with their next big event. We've got Vlad Milena with Intellectual Leadership joining us once again. Hey, friends. How's it going? Hey, Dustin. Good to be here. Absolutely. I, uh, you have, um, you guys keep doing some really amazing events, and you've got another really amazing one coming up here really shortly. Um, as a photo exhibition and art auction, and I wanted to chat a little bit because I actually read the, uh, the a story kind of explaining what this uh, one of the photographers that's going to be there has been going through, and uh, out in uh, um, eastern Ukraine where he was, his family was able to all get out, but he was trying to take care of his parents' house um, to try to make sure everything's okay. He figured it wouldn't be too long and everything would be over with, but it turned out to be a lot worse than that, and then his it, the bombing starts, and they ha they're running out of water and that kind of thing, and they have to go and help out other people in their, their town because everyone is trying to do whatever they can to help each other. And then his neighbor is killed, and his house is taken over, and his dog is murdered, and all of these things, and they rob him of every possession he owns, and he uh, destroys his house, and he has to go and uh, have a neighbor that he can stay with with 14 other people, and finally he escapes... From there, they do make it out of that area, but then they go to Kiev, and is where is he now? How what is what is happening to him now? It's uh, it's my friend's friends. It's a from uh -huh. Bucha, where I was born, and where I live. It's Vishnyovele. It's near for Kiev, and my friends. Uh, she the same from Bucha. He give me these connections, and we talk with him. This guy, really talented guy, like art guy. Yeah. And I'm specialized for art and. We have friendship with her, yeah, and his history in the English language, and people really read this and really understand. It's this type of 40 days in the Bucha, because as organization, we help people from Bucha. We have this type of uh, uh, Ukrainians, uh, what we are help. And this guy, he now in the Bucha, he lives in this place, where is a lot of uh, bombs yeah. near, and uh, this city need adaptation for this. And this guy organized really amazing photo photo exhibition art. Yes. Uh, he do a lot of art, but we have to do little small. The first for me really important. It's a hero for Ukrainian nationalist. It's a Shevchenko. It's the same like Shakespeare in the English uh, literature. For us, Shevchenko is the same, this type of level. He's a poet and a writer. Як умрути, поховайте мене на могилі серед степу широкого на Україні. Милі, що плани широкополі, і Дніпро і Кручі було видно, було чути, як реве ревучі. It's, a, it's this type of poetry. And monuments, the Russians do kill. The, they, uh, they were just shooting down the uh, uh, sculptures of uh, Ukrainian national poets. You know that are uh, patriarchs of you know uh, yeah. Ukrainian literature. And uh, Nick uh, Fedirko, Nick Fedirko, it's his history. What you talk? He organized okay. like five, uh, five theme. It's uh, five themes uh, for his photographs. Uh, he called them painful loft, terrible art, uh, uh, why, indomitable spirit, and childhood. So five different themes, and uh, he. Uh, Provide, uh, he gave us photos. He gave, gave us permission to use his photos at the exhibition. So we will be, we'll be really uh, proud to present those uh, for people to see. Well, and I wish people could see through the radio right now because the picture that you have, the photograph that's on the flyer, and people hopefully will be able to see that is just a breathtaking photo. And you guys are saying. Uh, the most talked about photo in the world right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a, the second artist. It's, it's, a, it's a second post. photographer. It's a, it's a different, it's Mitro uh, Kozatsky, uh, and he has been the Pazivno Orest. Uh, he, yeah, he, uh, his nickname is Orest, and, uh, and that his theme uh, is Eyes Azov Stal. So he was present in a steel plant in Azov that was under siege for months by Russian military, and it finally was taken over, and all the um, all the all the soldier, Ukrainian soldiers, including photographer, they were uh, taken into um, prison, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, and this uh, um, photo, what we are looking, yeah, we look this type of guy, and this the sun comes. The sunlight. Through. Sunlight. Through the broken roof is yeah. right there. The ray of light. And a lot yeah. of people thinking for me it's like the angels because we really have a lot of soldiers who died. Soldiers. Yeah, and uh, this 
it's really now the most important photo all in the world. A lot art uh, concourse art contest. Uh, contest have in the give like it's the best and of course the history because the art it's not only visual it's the idea what you bring and with the same uh, organized uh, 11 photo for us all where is real people who be in these uh, prisons and now the russian one killed these people that's why for us it's a hero and we need to explain peace we need to explain planet about this project and the first uh, exhibition was be in the durango but my idea with us organization we plan into eight countries the same exhibitions the same this type of style and we plan to do this in europe we plan to do this in usa in different city like in miami in the 6th of uh, august. Uh, august august we are planning to do this that's why it's been not only the one project because uh, for marketing it's really important like a lot a lot a lot different country look in this and it's really important for us. Yes. So, uh, Orest is he the he's the one that is in prison in yes. Russia right now? Correct. Yeah. And they and under threat of being executed right now Correct. as well. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. That's it's why. Terrible. Yeah, it's terrible, and it's not only him. And he bring uh, in LinkedIn this good level art and talk, please, people. Who want touch share, that, share this? Share that. Yes. Organize. Explain people. I give for free, and uh, with us uh, exhibition art, we the same try to do actions. And if people want buy this photo because it's really historical photo and really a lot of information. Yes. And uh, it's be like your help for people in the Mariupol because I have in the um, we like volunteer organization try to help these people who have in the Mariupol. In Mariupol we have documentary movie, you look this documentary movie, it's really, it's really terrible. It's not yeah. possible now looking here in the TV, because TV don't give real information what happens with that. But it's the people talk what he really feel. When yeah. it doesn't have in the water, when it doesn't have eating animals. With us organization we now try the same help animals of Ukraine. We have now 14 projects where what, what we concretely help. And of course uh, for us and when we are build this and your organization intellectual leadership, we talk and we help children. And mm -hmm. the first artist who have won to organize exhibitions, it was be Taras um, Hechelsky. He's the third artist and he, yeah. he's doing uh, children children's dreams. dreams. Okay. Yeah, children dreams, uh, you look this photo. It's the idea bring some Ukrainian uh, uh, children and what Ukrainian children dreamers and yeah, some uh, dreamers uh, uh, they draw and chalk kind of like what their dreams and goals are. Okay. Yeah, That's and it. some guys dreamers being the champion. Some guys want only home. Some yeah. guys uh, want, want some uh, like uh, like children. Uh, what, yeah. what children want and of course when I look this because as the eyes of these children so much old yeah. the children not be we want children life in the Ukraine but you know last day was be 100 days this warm yeah. and uh, it's not stop it it's the same bombing and children doesn't have in the houses and we need scholarship one of the project for us it's the same help money for organized uh, scholarship. Sco scholarship for children because a lot bombing that but uh, ukraine is so much educate country and for us uh, education for children it's really very important, important. very important well and so the this event with the uh, the photo ex exhibition and the art auction uh, we're not too far away that's happening on sunday yeah and that's at uh, Vape Durango. Uh, people who, do, if you don't know where that is, that's 1019 Main Avenue. Um, so real easy to find, just right there on Main Street. So Sunday at noon, is that right? That yeah. is correct, yes. Okay. And uh, so you can, they can, um, uh, are they going to be bidding on the photos or purchasing the photos? Or how does that happen? How does that work? Uh, we are really happy as a guy who owners this uh, this. Uh, 
shop. Uh, shop. He opened his heart and told yes. Him, yes, guys, we want to do these exhibitions. He have really amazing uh, this type of shop, and we organize art. We uh, we do. Uh, mm, we have in the expositions, it was be 33 art, 33, 30, 33 photographs. And the people okay. who come, it's possible to do donations, it's possible yes. buy it for Tichy uh, Auction. Uh, silent auction. Silent, silent auctions. Auction. Cool. Okay. It's a looking for that, and I think it was be a really historical moment. And if people want to talk something, if people want to explain, if people want happy help for us, like pizza or something different, yeah. we'll be really happy. I think we organize little something snacks, a little drink, and we have in the talking about that. If people want, we have Ms. Dillam Hot Mira. Uh, peace March. Peace March. Peace March. It'd be, I think, the same great because uh, the first we do with you peace in the really winter time. Now yes. it's the time a little better. Not going to have a snowstorm <laughs> in the way this time. <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah, and uh, what I so much, I want to explain, really happy all people who want help. Mm -hmm. And the same we now in the radio, I want to explain about this association who help for us and do uh, one month uh, organize uh, Oh, um, uh, Alona went to a meeting with ARC Duranga, okay. uh, uh, which is an uh, organization f uh, of people with disabilities, and uh, they did a f huge fundraiser for Ukrainians, and uh, we, we talked with them, we communicated, they're, they have huge hearts, they're, they're such sweet hearts. He do Wonderful. every May, May, totally all May, you do fundraising for help for us. Wow. And what, for, yeah, and we do the this type of that, and I really, I really open heart because for me the first shock was being the NGO organization in USA yes. who want really help uh, for for Ukrainians. For me, it's it's really special, and I think the people in Durango big heart, big yes. heart. Thank you so much about your support and you remember and know the situation. It's it's really important for us, and these exhibitions. It's be different for understanding, and this art really beautiful. It's not only in the shock; oh, it's the it's same. Amazing, yes. Really interesting for good level art, and yes. the photo. It's it's like oh. the photography is just unbelievable. Uh, people have got to see this with their own eyes. This is unbelievable. So, uh, yes, come on out. Uh, Vape Durango, ten nineteen Main Avenue, Sunday at noon. Get any uh, and more information at intellectualleadership.com and keep up to date with all of the events that are going on to help Ukraine. And this is just the next step that uh, Durango can step up and be a part of and help out with. So, Vlad and Elena, thank you again for joining us. Uh, as always, can't wait to have you back on again. I know we have more events on the horizon as well, but this one is so special and so amazing. With photos straight from Ukraine and from amazing photographers and, of course, some great art as well. So, everyone get out there Sunday noon. Vape Durango, it's all going on there. And if there's a